Hi, I'm James, and I make stuff with Unity. At the moment I'm making a game called Rogue Realms, which is an empire builder. So if you're interested, please feel free to have a look at that at Steam and wishlist it. But today I just want to show you how to download a zip file and unzip it. I know this is a kind of a niche thing, but I needed to do it in a project. And I found that the information out there was so all over the place. I just wanted to share how I did it and a way that works without using any plugins or assets. So we're not going to need to do anything actually in the editor. Let's just create a folder for our scripts and create a script. I'm just going to call the script download zip. And let's open that in Visual Studio. First up, we're going to need the networking library to be able to download the file. And we're going to need the system IO library to do the unzipping. Now we're not going to need our update function, so I'll just delete that. And I'm going to create an I enumerator to read and download the zip. I'm going to give it a string, which is going to be the URL. So first of all, we need to set up a Unity web request to get the zip file. Then you have to yield so that you can wait until the file is downloaded before we do anything else. Now if you wanted a progress indicator for your download because your zip is big, I have a different tutorial for that, so just have a look at my channel. It's actually the last tutorial I made before this one. I always put some sort of error checking in in case there's a failure, so let's do that. So all this does is check that the result is not a success, and if it isn't, print out the error. Else, we're going to do something with it. Now in order to unzip it, you need to save it onto your drive somewhere. So first of all, I'm just going to make sure that the directory I'm going to use exists, and if it doesn't, I'm going to create it. Now if it doesn't exist, we need to create it. Now I'm going to use application.datapath, which will put it inside the assets folder. In practice, you're probably better off using persistent data path when you're going into an actual application, but that will put it in a place which is a little bit trickier to find. So next, I'm going to write the file to that directory. So what this does is it writes the file. You have to give it the name of the file. For now I've just chosen my zip, but you probably want to give it something a bit more meaningful. And www.downloadhandler.data is the data that you've just downloaded from the web request. In practice, if you don't know if the file is there or not, you're probably also going to want to use ifio.file exists to check if the file exists or not before you do this, because if it already exists, it's going to have an error. So you'll have to work out what you want to do if it exists, whether you delete the old file and overwrite it or something like that. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I won't go into that. So next, we're going to decompress the zip. So what this does is it finds your file here and extracts it to the directory here. And it's as simple as that. The only thing left to do is because you're doing a web request, you want to dispose so that you don't have any memory leaks. Now to run this, you go start coroutine. Download and unzip, and then give it a URL. I'm going to change this URL to one that works. However, I'm not going to do that on screen because I don't want everybody to be using that example zip and downloading it. 
However, you just put the URL in of wherever your zip is saved. If your file is already on the hard drive, you only need to use that one single line. So I'm going to change this and then we'll head back to Unity and give it a go. Now I'm just dragging that script onto the main camera. Let's hit play to run. So now you can see my folder has appeared. If it doesn't appear for you straight away, you might need to go here and hit refresh and then it will show. Now you can see in the test folder, my zip is there and all of the files have been unzipped. So that's all there is to unzipping a file. Hope some people find this helpful. I know it's a little bit niche, but it isn't something which is really covered much on tutorials, so I thought I would make one. If you want to follow me on social media or join my Discord and come and talk to me or anything like that, please follow the links in the description and it will have a whole thing of all my different work. Hope you enjoy your game development.